The Northern State men's basketball team opened the regular season with a weekend split at the Hall of Fame Classic in St. Joseph, Missouri. The Wolves are fresh off an appearance in the national championship game last March, but have a new look this season. Kettleland's Bailey Millen has that story. Northern State fell three points shy of its first ever Division II national championship last season. But head coach Paul Sather says this year's Wolves are focused on the present. We're different. And there's an expectation. I don't think they like the idea of having a lesser expectation. I, I think they like the idea of, you know what, if no matter what the conference preseason might say, we believe in our program and the people we have in it, and we can go out and win it. The Wolves are picked to finish fifth overall in the NSIC preseason coaches poll after losing four contributing seniors from last year's team. It's going from maybe playing 10 minutes, 12 minutes a game last year to now you're, you're 25 minutes a game and you're guarding. We're not hiding you on defense as much. We're, we're putting you on somebody's best. You know, we lost really good defensive players, really a lot of experience, uh, 4,900 points and 2,200 rebounds. Sather says the Wolves can't simply replace players, but will instead feature a different style of post play. A guy like Parker Fox and Justin Decker bring a different dimension to it. They both can step away from the rim. You're going to have to guard them out to three. Uh, and, and plus, especially Parker can, I think, put the ball on the floor and attack the rim. NSU also hopes the defensive end of the court will lead to some early season victories. I think what we can do offensively uh, is, is pretty dang good. So we've got to try to make it defensively good enough that we can hold teams down. We don't want to score 100 and get beat. You know, that's happened before. And we want to be able to t be a team that can get out and guard and make that important. In Aberdeen, Bailey Millen, Kelloland Sports. Northern State returns to the Sanford Pentagon for the first time since last season's Elite Eight on November 16th as part of the East West Classic, where the Wolves will play Black Hills State. The Sky Force look to remain perfect on the season against Memphis. We'll have the highlights next. The Sky Force opened the NBA G League season with back to back wins over the weekend, including a 112 101 victory against Fort Wayne in Friday's home opener. Tonight, Sioux Falls attempted to continue its winning ways against Memphis. Second quarter, trailing by three, the Sky Force pull even as Yante Mayton hits the reverse and the foul. He had a game high 34 points. Moments later, Mayton can't tip it through but tips it away on D and Charles Cook slams through two of his seven points, 40-38 Sky Force. More from the home team tied at 43, DeAndre Liggins dribbles once and dishes to Duncan Robinson in the corner who splashes through one of his seven threes. He had 29 points, Sioux Falls by three. The hustle played tough throughout as Tyler Harvey comes up with a steal, pulls up and buries a three. He had 15 points on five triples. Memphis leads 49-48. Ahead of the final minute of the half, Liggins picks the pass, takes it the length of the floor, and slams through two of his 11 points. Sky Force by one at halftime. Sioux Falls earns its third straight win, edging Memphis 126-120. Preview show coming up this Wednesday night at 6:30. We'll preview all seven championship games this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the Dakota Dome in Vermilion. That is a look at sports. All right.